<laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm bike again. Your main main, the real Bill Real. There's a saying that goes, when the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. Folks, I am delighted to be making this video for you today. <sighs> Man, where do I begin? Uh, as you guys are already aware, the NFL um, is about to experience something that they don't want. And what they do not want is for the people who make it the business that it is to protest it. Yeah, that's right. See, most people don't understand how the NFL gets its money. See, you buying a ticket and buying, you know, the expensive drink or beer or hot dog or nachos or whatever you buy from the concession stands, uh, it only goes so far, okay? <clears throat> uh, the money or the, the big time cheese comes from TV, okay? Advertisers, okay? Car manufacturers and whatnot. Well, when your ratings start to sink, it causes the advertisers to back away from your product. They start dropping commercials that had athletes in them, and the athletes stop making that endorsement money and the league has less money to pay the big contracts. So this is what happens when you attempt to go along with stupid people, okay? And I'm referring to Colin Kaepernick, all right? Who was misled into believing that he was going to do some good. He was going to stop some freaking black kid from getting shot by a corrupt cop by taking a knee. And as a result of all of these followers getting butt hurt by what Donald Trump said, which was the truth, okay, they decided that they're going to take a knee, which has pissed off a bunch of the NFL faithful, okay, who go to games, all right, who watch the games on TV and they purchase the products, which keeps the whole engine going. All right. So not only are you going to be losing the TV revenue and you're going to be losing out on people actually going to the games, okay? Your product is not so so popular now. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up cutting your own throat. See, this is what I this is why I say what I said. You're going to end up following somebody who's not employed. Okay? Colin Kaepernick is not employed. Now good thing he had a really juicy contract that he was able to eat off of for a couple of years before he decided to start acting a monkey. But these other players are now going to start feeling the crunch. Yeah, they may be able to get away with this foolishness maybe for a next, you know, maybe another season or so. But the ratings are falling fast. Okay? So not only do you have the news about Aaron Hernandez having CTE, you know, real bad case of it. But with these these protests that are going on, which they're not demanding anything in particular, okay? That's the, that's the one thing about it. It's not like they're saying, hey, you know what? This is what I want. These are my list of demands. They're basically saying, treat Pookie and Ray Ray the same way you treat Tom, okay? They're not going to do that. It's just not feasible to do that. People are going to racially profile until the day that they die. 
okay? They're going to be suspicious of certain characters who dress a certain way, who look a certain way, and who happen to live in a certain neighborhood or who happen to drive around in a certain vehicle and they might have tinted windows, okay? Or they may be blaring music. Those people are going to get more attention than, say, Steve, who drives around in a Hyundai with no tent on it. He drives the speed limit and he follows all the rules. He doesn't, he's not pulled over for speeding. Okay. He's, do, he's not pulled over for running a red light. Okay. So what they're kneeling for are things that are not going to stop. It's not going to stop. You're going to have a knucklehead thinking that he can fight the police and he's going to get shot. It's going to happen because he comes from a single mother led household where the mother was against male authority. And she basically told him, you know what? That teacher at school, you cuss him out. And if he puts his hands on you, you knock that crack out. That's what she told him. So he's going to believe that he does not have to obey authority. And he's going to attempt to do that same crap. Okay. With a white cop. And that cop is going to pull out the jammy. He's going to blast him in the chest. And everybody's going to be up and up. Oh, no. You shot key one. You shot key one. <laughs> I'm taking a knee. So what? Key one deserved death. Key one wasn't respecting authority. Okay? We got to learn how to call a spade a spade. And that's the problem right now. Everybody wants to be a social justice warrior. Everybody, everybody's chiming in and they're basically trying to make excuses for people who are not law abiding. All right. Here's something. You really want to make a protest? Move out in the United States. Okay. Give up your Mercedes Benz. Give up your mansion. Stop receiving freaking um, dollars that have um, dead presidents on them. Okay, go move yourself to a nice Islamic country. Okay, and then go pull that crap with them. Go over there and take a knee when it's time to uh, stand and honor their national anthem or their flag and see how fast they behead your butt. Okay, go over there, go do that. Or here's another thing go ahead and move to Cuba and do that. All right, go do that. Go to North Korea. And go and tempt the same bull crap over there. No, you know what? Go to Russia. Go ahead and go to Russia and go pull that crap over there. Okay? Since you don't like America. Since you guys are so unpatriotic. You just hate where you live. And this is just the worst place to be. Move out. Leave the NFL. Okay? Leave this oppressive, oppressive regime. Okay? You hate Donald Trump so much? Leave. Bye. You've made enough money. Why are you staying? Why are you living here? Huh? It's so oppressive. They hate you so much. Leave. Bye. But they won't because these people are complainers. See, and this is what I'm, I'm so glad that this happened because these owners and the rest of the people that are watching, they're going to soon find out how you will never be able to satisfy black folks ever the heavenly father got sick and tired of their complaining but and said you know what that's it trips over y'all ain't making it to the promised land i'm gonna let y'all wander around and y'all y'all gonna die off <laughs> so if yahweh decided that he was sick and tired of complaining behind black folks oh my goodness man oh phew, dude <laughs> it won't be long it will not be long before people say, man, you were complaining about this. Now I didn't switch to this, to this. Now, the newest thing is, if you're not kneeling when the national anthem is played, now you're a racist. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> not to mention, you know, that there are many blacks who actually died for this country. They died for your right to be able to have free speech. Okay. Yeah. That's what is getting lost in all of this. There are many blacks who freaking are, have been in the military that are currently in the military that have died and fought for this, for this country, okay? But these spoiled brats, they don't understand that. These stupid behind followers, they don't understand that. 
oh, he told me, oh, uh, I'm an SOB. Well, I'm a, I'm a Neil because I want to be an SOB. <laughs> it's like, dude. Where was all of this protesting at the beginning of the season or last year? Where were all of these people who wanted to take a stand for Black Lives Matter? Huh? Get the fuck get out of here. It's fake. It's disingenuous. Okay? These people hate Donald Trump and everything that he stands for, which is basically a better day for black folks, even though most black folks can't stand him. But if you look at it, when he got elected, became the, uh, the president-elect, he came out with a freaking 10-point uh, plan for black folks. Ever since then, the media's been on him, hating him, trying to turn the black folks against him. Ever since that time, illegal immigration hurts black folks the most. Okay? Black folks had the nerve of saying, you know what, that's racist because you won't allow terrorists in the country who plan to blow us up. That's racist. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean that, that's why I say when you let people who are foolish lead protests, man, I'm telling you, just stand back and watch how they destroy everything that they got that you got going. Black folks who don't think or they're just emotional. And that's all you saw, a bunch of emotional black men kneeling, butthurt because somebody had called out that bull crap of kneeling down during your, your, uh, your national anthem. You don't like the national anthem. You don't like the country. Leave. You don't have to freaking protest anything. Just leave. Bye. You got all these other countries that you can go to. Go see can you make the kind of money you making over here, over there. Go see if you can have the kind of life you, that you got here, over there. Go ahead. Go do it. Go see how many of your rights are going to be protected while you steady piss on the, uh, the efforts of all of these guys who bled and fought and died for your butt. Go see. So, you keep rolling with these idiots who want to keep protesting every single thing. You keep letting the left boost you up and the want to be unpatriotic and disrespectful. You go see where that gets you. Nowhere. They're going to ruin your business. They're going to ruin your ability to even make money. And then you will look back on it and say, man, what the hell are we trying to do? We were trying to freaking appease some people that can never be pleased. You will never be able to please black people, okay? Jude 1, go look it up in your Bible, man. It even talks about how they do they do things to impress other people, but they're not sincere. This is in the Bible. The Bible told you who black people are. All of this kneeling, they're trying to appease other people. They're trying to impress other people. They're trying to flatter other people. Look, look, you know, I'm a social justice warrior. Like I say, that's the fad right now. Everybody wants to be a social justice warrior. When every case is individual. Okay? Are there corrupt cops? Yeah, sure are. Will you stop a corrupt cop from being a corrupt cop by by um, protesting the national anthem? Hell no. They don't coincide. <laughs> it's not like the cop needs the national anthem to get paid. It's not like he needs that. Okay? To get his brothers to side with him or to go in there and sign off on a report and say, you know what? He did nothing wrong. The the guy came at him and he just simply unloaded the clip into his chest. Huh? <laughs> Those two things don't match up. So you can freaking voice your displeasure. You can freaking pull down and moon the whole entire stadium. You know, none of that's going to stop corruption, man. And until these little freaking immature people understand this fact nothing's going to change <laughs> you're going to just see them just continue to keep crapping on themselves and crapping on themselves until they're going to look around and be like whoa what happened to our business we used to have a business <laughs> we used to be able to make money from this we used to have people that were interested in our talents and our abilities but soon those same people are going to turn on you and they're going to say you know what screw this i'll watch something else I watch something else where, where where I don't have to deal with my my flag or my national anthem being disrespected and disregarded. You watch what I tell you. It's about to get real interesting. That's my video for today. I'll talk to you later.